Hey everyone, I will be showing you the latest ways and different ways on how to get every single colored helmet onto any saved outfit. Now, I will be showing you different methods and also this works for the female and male character as well. Now, you won't need to delete no outfits for this video. This works after the latest patch 1.67. Like I said, I will be letting you know which one works for which console and the female character and male character as well. Now this one is not really a colored helmet, the rest of them are. This one's a really easy way on how to get tons of different colored ride helmets onto any saved outfit. You would need a NPC vehicle in front of the clothing store, of any clothing store. And make sure you have your saved outfit ready to go. That you want the colored helmet on right now. Now the rest of the colored helmets are in the rest of the videos. And this works for the female male character as well and old and new gen as well. Now go over to the helmets. And you will need to either purchase number 17, 18, 19, and 20. Those will give you different colored helmets. Now make sure you remember which helmet that you purchase, okay? That's very important. Now back out once, go over to the Riot Helmets, and you have to purchase the LSPD Riot. That part is important. Back out from the helmet section, open up your interaction menu, go over to the style. Now you will need to make sure the helmet visor is set on down. That part is very important as well. Now you will need to go over to the bike helmet and make sure you put on the bike helmet that you purchased right before the LSPD riot helmet. That part is very important as well. Now back out from the interaction menu, you will need to register as secure reserve. Go over to the street vehicle Now on the secure reserve style. You will need to basically what you need to do is enter the vehicle once you enter the vehicle on the secure reserve style click one to the right and one to the left now close the interaction menu what you need to do is exit the vehicle and you should see the colored helmet after you hold right on the d-pad so exit the vehicle hold right on the d-pad and the right helmet should turn into a different color now if it did not work just try again and you can put the helmet visor on down and it should turn into a different color what is cool about this is you could get the rest of the colors. Just make sure you save this as an outfit. It will stick. Now let's move on to the other helmet glitch of this video. If you're wondering on how I got a high rank, $16 trillion, modded KDs, super fast run, all these modded outfits, and this modded account, well, I got this from hyperresupply.com. This is the number one boosting platform for services for GTA 5 online. You can buy modded cars, modded outfits, modded accounts. If you want to add stuff onto your current account, they have stuff. They have all different types of accounts. And also, if you want to even save more money at checkout, use code REBEL to get 10% off your next order. Now for this clothing glitch, I will be showing you on how to get the orange and purple bulletproof helmet. Now this works for new gen only and works for the female and male character. You will need to delete no outfits for this video, like I said before. Now, you will need to hit a bookmark, the bookmark job down below in the video description. Now, after you've done that, just restart your GT5 application and it should be there. Now, open up your pause menu, go over to online, go to your bookmark jobs. And on the bookmark jobs, go to last team standing and start with a mission that has a dash on it. Now, accept that alert that shows up on the screen. Now, on this job menu, just invite at least one person to help you out. And once they do join, just launch the mission. Now you should be loading into a menu that looks all weird like this. Now both they are already up, so the mission can start. Once you do load in, you should have a saved outfit and it should turn into a different outfit. And you should see the orange bulletproof helmet. Now if you want the purple bulletproof helmet, you should join as the second player and you should get that one. Now open up your interaction menu. Go over to the style. Go over to the accessories and put on any gloves or take off the gloves. It doesn't really matter to be honest. Now close the interaction menu, pull up your phone and you will need to quit the job, do the jobs, let's do your phone. Now once you do load in, you should have the outfit like this. And before you start editing this outfit, I recommend saving this as an outfit, then the outfit will forever stick. But yeah, guys, let's move on to the other helmet glitch of this video. Now, 
I will be showing you on how to get the pink bulletproof helmet and this comes with pink toggles. Now this only works for the male and female character and only works for PC only. There will be a link down below in the video description to bookmark that job. Now restart your GTA 5 application afterwards and it should be there. Now you will need to open up your pause menu, go over to online, go to your bookmark jobs and start up the mission called pink joggers. It should be on your bookmark jobs on last team standing. Now on this job menu, just invite at least one person to help you out. Don't really mess with nothing. Just go over to confirm settings and launch the mission. Now on this job menu, it should look weird like this. Don't worry about it. Just both are already up so the mission can start. Now you should be loading in and you should have the pink joggers like this. Now open up your interaction menu, go over to the style, go over to the accessories and put on any gloves or remove the gloves. Now pull up your phone and quit the job to the job list to your phone. Then you should be loading in to a random lobby and you should have the pink joggers and pink helmet like this and forever six as long as you save this as an outfit and you are freely to edit the outfit. Now let's move on to the last clothing glitch of this video. Now I will be showing you on how to get every single colored bulletproof helmet and you can put this on any saved outfit this works for old and new gen as well for the female and male character as well now you would need at least one colored bulletproof helmet like i showed you in the videos before you should have at least one there will be links down below in the video description on how to get one but by now you should have at least one now these are the components uh you could get the colored bulletproof helmets so go over to the helmet section of any clothing store on the map and go over to the biker helmets and select any biker helmet that's on the list to get the component. So if you want the red one, you go over to the green dome, or if you want the pink one, you go to stars and stripes dome, you know, that makes sense. After you select the component, basically what you need to do is go over to the front counter with that helmet on and save it as an outfit and just name it C1 like this. Now go over to the saved outfits and select the outfit you have a colored bulletproof helmet on like this. Save this as an outfit and just name it C2. Doesn't matter which outfit slot to be honest. Now select the C1 saved outfit. You will need to go over to the glasses. Now on the glasses, what you need to do is purchase at least two or three glasses I recommend. Now back out from the front counter, or excuse me, the uh, glasses. Open up your interaction menu, go over to the style. And equip the Israel hoop bag. After you've done that, wait for the always loading screen to show up and disappear on the bottom right. Now, if you do not have any Israel troop bag, just buy one at any ammunition store. Now, you will need to go over to the net cut, find your primary console, and lock your primary console. Now, wait about 10 seconds after doing so. Make sure you do not get kicked for being AFK on console 1 as well. Go over to console 2 and load up GT5 application. Now, if you're on the Xbox, just Click end session there. Now, if you're on old gen on both like PlayStation and Xbox, just load into a story mode, then a invite only session. And if you're on new gen, load into the main menu, then a public lobby. Now you should be loading inside of a random lobby like this. Open up your interaction menu. Go over to the set and select the C2 outfit. Wait for the orange loaded screen to show up and disappear. Now, once it does, Hold down on the D-pad and load into any GT5 story mode character. And once you're in story mode, fully close out the game on console 2. Now on console 2, quit to the main menu if you're on new gen. And just on, once you're on the main menu, fully close out the game. Now you will need to go over to the net cut, unlock the primary console. And now you will need to go over to the console 1 like this. Open up your interaction menu, go over to style, go over to accessories and remove any glasses or put on any glasses, it doesn't really matter. Wait for the always loading screen to show up and disappear. Now once it does, if you're on OGEN, hold down on the D-pad, load into any story mode character. Once you're in story mode, load into a invite only session. And if you're on NewGen, just quit to the main menu. And on the main menu, just load into a public lobby. Now once you've done that, you should be loading in and you should have the component you chose and it should have the bulletproof helmet on like this. Now, as long as you save this as an outfit, you are able to merge the helmet onto any saved outfit through the telescope glitch. Now, don't forget to like this video. It really helps me out. Subscribe if you're new. Share with your friends. Catch you on tomorrow's video. Peace.